Hey guys, how's it going? And today we have the perfect full body workout with dumbbells to get your athletic performance to the next level. And there are a lot of studies showing that these kind of workouts are perfectly fine to increase vertical jump, speed and yeah, overall athletic performance. We structured this workout into three phases. In the first phase you will start with a muscle building phase for around three months. And you always do the exercises for 30 seconds in this phase. Speed and strength, rest. So you basically choose a weight that gets you close to failure within 30 seconds. In the second phase, you do a strength phase for around one to two months, and you can increase the weight in this phase, and you do the exercises for around Muscle 15 group, seconds. Muscle group, rest. So you basically use a heavier weight than in phase one, but you do it for a short amount of time. And in the third phase, we have a speed phase, so you really want to focus on explosive variations here, and you use less weight in this phase, but you do the exercises a little more explosive. And you always do the exercise for 15 seconds in this phase. You don't want to get close to failure in this phase, really focus on being as explosive as possible. The first exercise is the ATG split squat in the muscle building phase and the regular and explosive squat in the strength and speed phase. And in the speed phase you should really try to let yourself fall into the squat position and then you try to reverse the movement as fast as you can. And really focus on explosive repetitions. It's not about doing a lot of reps or getting to failure. It's really about being explosive and teaching your central nervous system yeah, to recruit as many of those fast switch fibers as possible. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. We collide, we break down, caving in to our doubts, faces filled with sadness, when words are said. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. We can't be heartache together. This is the hard way to better. We can't be heartache together. This is the hard
speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Coming next, we have the side squat. And this movement is going to stay pretty much the same in all phases. Really great movement, not just to improve the strength in your legs, but also to improve the mobility, especially in the hips. And yeah, definitely an underestimated factor, and especially hip mobility is super important for athletes and can help with performance as well as injury prevention. If you meet somebody else that's a rival, that much is true. Yeah, I know you said, baby, this is final. And I blame myself All that's left to me now is an animal And I cry for help I wish my call's gonna reach you Give it my all cause I need you all Let it go, let it go, let it go Speed and strength, rest Muscle group, rest. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. The next exercise is the single leg deadlift in the muscle building phase, a regular deadlift in the strength phase with some more weight and an explosive deadlift where you basically do an explosive hip extension and then jump into the air basically and you should really focus on extending your hip as fast as possible during that phase. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest.
speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. And now I'm losing sleep. Speed and strength, rest. All I wanted was to be loved. All I wanted was to be loved. Muscle group, rest. Coming next with the calf raises and these are actually pretty similar in all phases. If you really want to maximize your explosiveness in this phase, you could switch the calf raises with pogo jumps, jump rope or jumping jacks for example or pretty much every other hopping exercise would definitely help with explosiveness as well. But this really depends on the rest of your workout schedule, I'd say. If you have a lot of jumps already in your schedule, you can just stick to calf raises. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest.
remember when we said we'd stay together now until forever just us just speed and strength rest said we wouldn't be like all the others fight and hurt each other not us not us but we let each other muscle group down, rest down. For the next exercise we have tibialis raises and they stay pretty much the same in all phases and super important exercise. I know a lot of people underestimate it but this exercise will help with shin splints and it will actually help with overall injury prevention and boost your athletic performance a lot. So the tibialis uh, raises pretty much train the tibialis anterior and super important muscle for deceleration. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Coming next we have the chest press and in the muscle building phase we have the alternating chest press. This is actually a great exercise since it activates our upper body muscles and the core muscles at the same time. Also great exercise to teach you dynamic trunk control and yeah, has a great transfer to overall athletic movements like sprinting, jumping and so on. And in the strength phase you basically do a regular chest press or bench press however you want to call it. You can really do it on a bench if you have one, but yeah, you can also do it on the ground as shown in the video. And really try to use heavier weights here. And in the speed phase we have explosive dumbbell pulls and you should really try to focus on extending your hip as fast as possible. And you basically use your upper back to pull the weight up as fast as possible. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest.
speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Coming next, we have the shoulder press. We are again starting with the alternating version of the shoulder press in the muscle building phase. Again, great exercise for core stability, super important for athletic performance. And in the strength phase, we are going to use the regular version, which is great to maximize your strength performance, basically. And in the explosive phase, we have the push press, and you should really focus on extending your hip once again as fast as possible. The focus on the hip extension is super important in pretty much all of those exercises since yeah, that is basically what happens during jumping as well or during pretty much a lot of athletic movements and this can really like get your hip extension and your explosiveness to the next level. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. And coming last, we have the dumbbell row. This movement stays the same for the muscle building and the strength cycle. And in the speed cycle, you basically just let the weight drop from the top position and you catch it in the bottom position and try to pull it up as fast as possible. And this is also a great movement if you really want to maximize your explosiveness. So yeah. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest.
speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. Speed and strength, rest. Muscle group, rest. I was lost until I 